Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I take this opportunity to really honor God for giving us a golden opportunity to be here so that we may have our midweek service. And we really want to thank God. I must appreciate the technical team who are here with us to enable us to go uh, live. We also thank you, uh, the team of Kranje and the pastoral team who are together with us in this service. I particularly want to take this opportunity to welcome you, our online congregation. We invite you to this service, and we believe that the Lord will bless you so much. Today we want to continue with the same teachings about the Holy Spirit. So prepare your heart, let the expectation be there that you will be taught by God something new today. Let us pray. Father, we worship you, we honor your name. Thank you because you've been faithful since the last week Wednesday. You've worked together with us, O Lord. We thank you for your favor. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Father, even for your protection. There has been so many things that we had to come through, but the Lord, you've been together with us. We honor your holy name. Thank you because your word says that the Lord is a strong tower where the Elishas run to and they are safe. We want to run to you this evening. We want to say that you are our strong tower. We don't have any other hiding place. Our refuge is in you, O oh God. And therefore, we commit ourselves, our hearts, and our spirits to you, O oh God. We submit them to your authority. We submit this service to your hands, O oh Lord, that it may be directed by you. That whatever we partake and do in this service, it will bring glory to your name. We pray for the technical team, the praises we will be doing here. We pray for the speaker who will be bringing the word of the Lord, the prayers and intercessions that we will be doing, even the people who are watching and viewing from home and from wherever they are, we want to commit ourselves to you, that all things you work together for good, O Jehovah, and to bring glory to your name. So take over in this service. We honor you, we bless your name. For this, our humble prayer in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen and amen. This time I want to welcome us so that we may have a time of praising and worshiping the Lord so that we may prepare even to go before the Lord and make some intercessions and prayers for our behalf and for others. So welcome, even as we worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank God at this hour. We want just to praise God, whether you are at home or in your place of work. Uh, is, uh, this evening, it's a time... But I want you to stand with the book of Psalms 125, verse 1 and 2, which say, Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. And therefore, friends, as we sing, I want you just to worship God and praise him, because he has surrounded us even at, during this time. Akuna mungu kama wewe Akuna mungu kama wewe Akuna mungu kama wewe Akuna na atakuwe Imba akuna na mungu kama wewe Akuna mungu kama wewe Akuna mungu kama wewe Akuna na takuwe imba akuna kuna mungu kama wewe akuna mungu kama wewe akuna mungu kama wewe akuna na takuwe nimetembea mbea kote kote nimetafuta kote Kote ni mezunguka, kote, kote, akuna natakuwe, ni metembea, ni metembea, kote, kote, ni metafuta, kote, kote, ni mezunguka, kote, kote, akuna natakuwe, all the other gods. 
They are the works of men, but you are the most high God. There is none like you, all the other God. They are the works of men, but you are the most high God. There is none like you. Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high God. Jehovah, the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. Oh, Jehovah, you are the most high. Jehovah, you are the most high. God, Jehovah, you are. The most high, oh, you are the most high, oh, Jehovah, you are the most high, Jehovah, you are the most high, God, Jehovah, you are the most high, you are the most high, God. Ni mwabudu na ni mimi Kama siyo wewe Ni mwabudu na ni mimi Yawe kama siyo wewe Hakuna mingine Waku wabudu Ela ni wewe Jehova Ela ni wewe Jeho ni mwabudu nani ni mwabudu na ni mimi yawe kama si wewe Kama si yo wewe Hakuna mingine Waku wabudu Ila ni wewe Jehovah Sanika angalia bwana angalia oh sisi wana wako tumekusanyika angalia bwana angalia oh maisha yetu twaleta kwako angalia bwana O oh, watoto wetu twaleta kwako angalia bwana Jehova angalia bwana E baba angalia bwana Jehova angalia bwana E baba angalia Jehova E baba Mungu baba, Mungu mwana, Mungu roho Tunakuja mbele yako, tukiwa na shukrani Kwa sababu ya fursa hii ambayo umetupatia Tukiomba buwana jinsi ambayo tumeimba Uweze kutuangalia na kututazama na macho wako wa upole Asante Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya kukupatia fursa ingine wa kukutumikia Bwana kwa kuimba kwetu kwa kuomba kwetu hata kwa kuvili neno lako Bwana 
Ninaomba Bwana upate kukubali Bwana mioyo yetu Bwana tunayo ikabidhi mbele yako Bwana ili aweze kukutumikia Bwana katika sifa ambazo tunakupa Bwana yapate kukubalika kwako Bwana katika kuomba kwetu Bwana tunanyenyekea hili Mungu upate kutubadilisha tuwe vyombo ambayo zinaweza kukubalika mwechoni pako Bwana tuwe vyombo ambazo zinaweza kutumika kwako Bwana kukupatia sifa na utukufu Bwana asante kwa jinsi ambapo umetupa uhai kwa mara nyingine Bwana na tuko na hakika ya kwamba uko na sababu ya kutupatia uhai leo hii ili tuweze kukusifu ili tuweze kukutumikia ili tuweze kukuabudu tunakuja bwana tukiakilisha nyumba zetu bwana tukiakilisha jamii zetu bwana tukiakilisha kanisa letu bwana tukiakilisha nchi yetu bwana tukiakilisha ulimwengu mzima bwana tukiomba bwana wewe Mungu naye uh, umejawa na msamaha bwana umejawa na rehema bwana upate kutukumbuka dhuhuri ya leo ili bwana yale ambayo tumeyapitia bwana yaweze kushindwa katika jina la mwana wako Yesu Kristo yaweze kushindwa kwa sababu ya damu ya mwana wako Yesu Kristo ambaye alimwagika msalabani bwana kwa upendo wako ili tuweze uh, kusamehewa ili tuweze bwana kuokolewa naomba bwana Unema yako ya uponyaji Bwana iweze kushukia watu wako ambao ni wagonjwa wakati huu. Bwana tunaomba Bwana uendelee kunyosha mkono wako uponyaji. Tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya wengi ambao wamepona kwa njia ya kupitia hii ugonjwa wa coronavirus na magonjwa mengine ambayo ilikuwa imewakabidhi bwana jina lako lipate kusifiwa jina lako lipate kutukuzwa bwana ukiendelea kuponya watu wako bwana ambao wamefungwa na magonjwa bwana asante Mungu wetu kwa sababu ya wale ambao wamewahi kufiwa na we, wa, wapendo wao lakini umewapatia nguvu na wanaendelea bwana kupatia sifa na utukufu kwa sababu uhai ni wako na sisi ambao bado umetuwezesha bwana kukuwa na uhai bwana tunaomba bwana utukumbushe kila wakati bwana hata ingawa tunasahau kama binadamu utukumbushe ya kwamba uhai iko mkononi mwako na wakati ambapo bwana umetupa fursa kuendelea kuishi bwana tuendelee kukusifu na kukutumikia bila kuchoka bwana na kuomba utusamee kwa roho ya kunungunika Naomba utusamee kwa roho ya Bwana kutokutii. Utusamee kwa roho ya kudharau wengine. Utusamee kwa sababu ya roho Bwana ya kutonena uh, 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 yale ambaye uh, ni, yanakupa sifa na utukufu Bwana. Yale maovu ambayo yamenenwa na vinya vyetu Bwana upate kuyashafisha Bwana na kutusamee Bwana. Damu yako ipate kututakaza Bwana kwa mara nyingine tukubalike kama vyombo vyako na kama watoto wako tupate kukutumikia, tupate kukusifu Bwana. Asante Bwana kwa sababu umejawa na upendo na ninaomba upendo wako bwana ituwezeshe kuendelea kukuishi na bwana kuendelea kujua mapenzi yako na kufanya mapenzi yako asante kwa nchi yetu bwana tukiomba bwana uendelee kutupatia uongozi nzuri uendelee kuongoza viongozi wetu bwana uendelee kutupatia amani bwana katika nchi yetu bwana tunashukupa shukurani kwa sababu amani e, 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 iko katika nchi yetu bwana tuko na uh, 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 ruhusa ya kuhudumu ku, ku bila masharti yote bwana si tunakushukuru bwana kwa sababu ya hali ya nchi yetu bwana kuna wengi ambao wangetaka kukuabudu bwana lakini hawana ruhusa bwana hawajapewa nafasi bwana kuna wale ambao bwana wana, uh, wanapitia mateso kwa sababu ya kuwa uh, wanaamini uh, uh, mwana wako Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wao bwana tunaomba utembelee uh, bwana katika nchi zile hakuna uh, freedom of worship Bwana unaomba utembelee watu wako bwana ili upate kuwashindia bwana katika nchi yetu katika ulimwengu wote bwana wakati huu watu wako wanainama wakikuabudu na wakikuomba bwana ili upate uh, kuwakabili bwana ushindi katika ugonjwa huu wa coronavirus naomba ukumbuke watu wako wote ambao wanakuabudu popote ulimwenguni kote ili waone ushindi wako bwana waone neema yako bwana na waone bwana kubarikiwa kwao na hata kuponywa kwao ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya wale wote ambao bwana umewapatia nafasi ya kuweza kurudi kwa manyumba zao wakitoka makazini kwao wakitoka katika nchi mbalimbali bwana ambapo walikuwa wamefungiwa bwana ninaomba bwana ukumbuke watoto wetu wakati huu ambao bado kuna confusion na ijulikani ni wakati gani watarudi shuleni bwana ili bwana utupatie ushindi ili bwana uzungire watoto wetu wanaposhinda manyumbani kwetu hapa hata wanapocheza na watoto wenzao bwana ili wasika, wasipatane na mabaya bwana maovu ambaye bwana yanafanyika ya katika mitaa na hata manyumba zetu bwana wale ambao bwana 
wanashaishi watoto wetu bwana katika mambo maovu bwana wapate kushinwa katika jina la mwana wako Yesu Kristo ili bwana watoto wetu bwana wakue katika hali sawa kusiwe na visa vya utinyaji mima kwa wale ambao bwana bado ni wachanga isije kukawa watoto bwana watalegea katika kusoma kwao bwana na kujitayarisha uh, kurudi shule uh, shuleni bwana ninaomba bwana ukumbuke wazazi bwana wapatie roho ya kuamini ya kwamba yote yanawezekana bwana uh, kwa sababu yako na sasa tunapojitayarisha bwana ili watoto wetu waweze kupata nafasi ya kurudi shuleni tunaomba bwana uweze kufagia hii ugonjwa katika nchi yetu bwana bwana uoga ambaye tuko nayo kama uh, 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 wananchi wa Kenya na hata ulimwengu kote bwana uipate kuisha watu wakuwe na imani na hata bwana katika uwe, ukiwapatia uwezo wa kurudi shuleni bwana wazingire na damu ya mwana wako Yesu Kristo wazingire na malaika wako bwana ili watoto wetu waendelee na masomo yao na hii ugonjwa isiwapate hata kidogo watu wako wote wanao kuamini bwana wafunike Mungu wetu basi utubariki tunapoendelea na maombi yetu tutakapopata mahubiri bwana ipate kutubadilisha bwana kwa sababu ninajua ya kwamba neno lako liko na sababu na wakati wa wote ambapo neno lako limehubiriwa bwana hayawezi kurudi bure kwa hivyo tunaomba bwana sisi wote ambao tutasikia sisi wote ambao bwana tutatazama tupate kubarikiwa na tupate kunenewa tukiomba katika jina mwana wako Yesu Kristo aliye bwana na mkombozi wetu amen, amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Those who are watching us at home, God is good. And all the time, it's nice to see you once again. Uh, and it's nice to, to know that you are so much committed to listening and following uh, us whenever we stream, uh, we stream a service from this cathedral. My name is Jacqueline Gala, and I love the Lord for saving me. I will bring the word of God to us. On behalf of our provost, I'm very grateful for the opportunity once again. Na tutaomba, lakini kabla tuombe neno, tutasoma. We'll read from uh, Romans chapter 8, where we read last week. We will read the same text, but we will only read two verses. And I request that we read that uh, text, then we can pray and proceed. Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. And he who searches our heart knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. This is the word of God. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word. Your word is eternal, and we pray this evening, as we listen to you speak to us, may you grant us understanding, grant us wisdom, O oh God, grant us knowledge that only comes from you, and that your word will find a place in us and will bear fruit that lasts. Thank you, Lord, for this moment and for everyone who will be listening. I pray for a special blessing upon them. So speak to us, our master, for we are listening. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, very delighted to have us on board, our online congregation. We continue to explore on the roles of the Holy Spirit. We have looked at uh, the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. We also looked at the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit. And last week, I began taking us through the, the other third a role of the Holy Spirit, which is intercession. And we looked at who an intercessor is last week, if you can remember. And we saw that an intercessor is one who stands before God and prays on behalf of another person. 
And we also noticed in our last sharing that an intercessor does not only pray for that other person on behalf of that other person, but also comes along and walks beside that person to help them. And uh, our parting shot last week was that we do not need to worry because we have one who stands before God on our behalf, the Holy Spirit of God. Praise be to God. And today I would like us to focus, uh, go a bit uh, deeper or higher in just focusing on this role, the intercession role of the Holy Spirit. But looking at the means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. The means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. Um, Paul, writing to the Romans in chapter 8 that we have read from, we have read from verse 26, but when you look at Romans chapter 8, it is a, a, a chapter that is full of the role of the Holy Spirit in his helping work. He begins by saying there is no condemnation. There is, now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And when you continue reading, you find that Paul is talking about, you know, those who belong to the Spirit and those who live a life of uh, sinful nature, they cannot move together. And that the Spirit gives life. He gives the, 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 the adoption to be called sons of God. And by him, we are able to refer to God as Abba Father. And from where we are reading, Paul is clearly uh, talking to his listeners and his readers and encouraging them to continue trusting in God, to continue waiting upon God, even when moments are tough, to know that they are not alone, but they have someone who is present with them in the person of the Holy Spirit of God. And so this chapter and these two verses that we have read today help us gather courage and confidence and, and hope that we have a God who cares for us, who has provided help for us in the person of the Holy Spirit. I don't know whether you have ever reached a moment in your life when a lot was happening and you go before God and you, don't know, you just don't know where to begin, you just don't know what to say. I don't know whether you have gone through pain that has weighed you down, that you thought you, you do not even know how to describe it before God. I don't know whether someone has hurt you so much, so bad, that you really don't know how to approach God about it. At such a moment, Paul is reminding us through his letter to the Romans that at that very moment, when we are so much weighed down by burdens and, you know, this life that is so chaotic, that we have a helper. We have one that is able to stand before God and is able to, to take our pains and present them before God, the Holy Spirit of God. We thank God for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so today, I just want us to take us through three means. There are so many, but with, because of time, I just want us to go through three means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. And I would like us to underline the word saints at the end of the uh, verse 27 on the last line of verse 27 where we read that the spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with the word, the will, with God's will. The spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. And the first way, the first means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for believers Saints refers to those who have chosen to trust in God and allow Jesus Christ to rule their lives. The first means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us or prays on our behalf before God is given in verse 26, part A. And the, 
Part A of verse 26 says, In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. You notice, the help of the Holy Spirit in the intercession work is given and so much related to his character. He is the Spirit of power. The disciples could not move and begin work because they had been told, until power comes on you, then you can be able to go out, to go and make disciples. And they sat and waited. In Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, we see that promise that when the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them, they were filled with the Holy Spirit and they were able now to move forward and do the work of God. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of power. And in his power, he strengthens us in our weaknesses. At that time when you are so much weighed down by a situation and you don't know whether to begin from right or left or what to do. And in your heart, you, you know, you are speaking your you words and you're just telling God, maybe you're just saying, God, you know it. I know you are not, you are, you are, you are not absent in this. Such like, I don't know whether you have been in that kind of a scenario. Imagine those very words you speak. The Holy Spirit is always beside us at that moment of weakness and strengthens us, empowers us, gives us the strength even to stand, even to be able to utter a word. And then he takes those words, gives us the strength to utter them. He intercedes for us with power because he's the spirit of power. In our moments of weakness, we have the confidence, we have the, 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 the hope that things will work out even when it looks like they are not working out now. So his power gives us strength. His power gives us the confidence to know that we trust and we believe in a God who is able and will be able to move us from where we are to a higher level. If you like, the Holy Spirit is our present help in times of need. What uh, the psalmist writes in Psalm 46 and verse 1, he, is the, he brings the presence of God who is our refuge he is our strength and our help in time of trouble. Are you troubled in your heart? The Holy Spirit is present. And my prayer is that we will come to this knowledge and believe this truth that we have someone very invisible, very present in us who is ready to help us and ready to stand before God on our behalf. The second means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us is given in part B of verse 26. And this is what he says. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groans that words cannot express. The Holy Spirit of God intercedes for us because we do not know what we ought to pray for. Sometimes we go before God and we are like talking about one thing and talking about the other and talking about the other and we kind of lack direction. We kind of look like we do not really have an idea what we are telling God. But because the Holy Spirit is the spirit of wisdom and knowledge, he intercedes for us with wisdom that we have no idea of. Wisdom that we do not have ourselves. Wisdom that only God alone has. We do not know what we ought to pray for. And so in these moments when we are babbling with words before God, maybe it is a situation that has really existed in our lives for long. 
and we have been praying about it. Now we go before God and we have no idea where do we begin. The Holy Spirit whispers to us wisdom that comes only from God. And how does he do this? Number one, he instructs, he instructs us to our need of prayer as per the promises of God. He instructs us as per the need for prayer as per the promises of God. The promises of God are recorded in his word. And so he prays, he helps us to pray with knowledge. One thing that I need to mention is that having the Holy Spirit as an intercessor in our lives does not rule out our prayerful life, our prayer lives. Remember God tells us that we are to pray and pray without ceasing. We are to continuous, continually pray in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. So we continue in prayer. Our prayer lives continue, but we have assistance in our prayer life in the person of the Holy Spirit. Jesus calls him the spirit of truth who comes to help us and guide us into God's truth. So he instructs us. He also directs our minds. In, uh, he directs our minds to the special agenda or subject that we have. In other words, he impresses on our hearts. Ana tuhimiza tuweze kuomba. Have you been, you know, in a moment or in a situation ama umefika wakati ambapo umefinywa na jambo and you are thinking what do I do and something tells you pray that is the impression of the Holy Spirit on our hearts to do what? to pray and when we begin praying he takes you know our prayers he takes them because he is the one who represents us before God the other thing he does when he gives, he releases his wisdom, is that he strengthens our faith in the word of God. He strengthens our faith in the word of God. And he also takes our unorganized prayers and interprets them before God. Did you hear that? Those unorganized prayers, yale maombi ambayo tunaomba tu, tunaanza huku, tunaenda pande ile, tunakuja, and the Holy Spirit his presence in us, he takes those prayers and interprets them before God on our behalf. What a great help and what a great knowledge to know that we have someone who is able to interpret our prayers to God. And the third and final point, the means by which the Holy Spirit intercedes for us is that he is the third person in the Trinity. He is part of the Godhead. And so he is God. And I would like you to listen carefully here. He intercedes for us according to the will of God. And that we find in verse 27. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God's will. He intercedes for us according to the will of God. How does he do this? First, as I said, he interprets to God what really is on our hearts. I, I would like us to picture this, you know, to put ourselves in this position. And just imagine the Holy Spirit is right there with you. In your heart, you are so much in pain. And on your heart, you, are, you know, you pronounce these words before God. And the Holy Spirit writes on your heart what your prayer is. What he does is he interprets what is really truly on our hearts. You know, sometimes what is paining us is not what we bring out. Hello? Sometimes what is really inside us is not what we bring out. But the Holy Spirit, because he's the spirit who searches our hearts and who knows our minds, he's able to see exactly. And he's able to take our prayers and present them in the, in the you know, original form of what is really on our hearts. 
he also makes sense of our maybe confused prayers, I call them. He corrects these prayers. He straightens them. And he structures them in a way that is in accordance to the word of God and his will. I don't know whether you are hearing this. That we have someone who labors so much to take my confused, I call them maybe senseless prayer. I don't know what to pray for. But he takes those words of mine, scattered, you know, Others are from A, others are from Z coming upwards. And he reorganizes, corrects. Kama kuna grammar hapo, ana correct hiyo grammar. So that it fits the language of God. He expresses the Holy Spirit as he intercedes for us according to the will of God. He expresses our feelings to God in line with God's purpose for our lives. More than we can even be able to express them to him ourselves. So we have someone who is really committed to advocating for us. And what happens? The Holy Spirit, one thing I discovered when I read this, and the, when I remembered his personality in the Trinity, his intercession is actually God communicating to God. <laughs> Did you hear that? God communicating to God. So it is just a God talk. And when God is talking to God on our behalf, what do you expect? The Father will take our prayers, accept them as our own. Even though takatifu, he takes them and accepts them as our own because of the character of the Holy Spirit. We must remember and take note of this truth. The only way we can do this is always to know that we have a God who has loved us with an everlasting love. One who cares for us and one who desires that we live a life in its fullness. I do not know the situation or the circumstance around you. I know we have really pleaded with God over this pandemic and we continue to pray. But I am so encouraged to know that in our, in our all structured prayers, in our all manner of approach to God, we have someone who is standing before God and taking our cries, our pains, our struggles as a result of this pandemic and presenting them to God in a manner that is in accordance to his will. And so God will only lift the siege of COVID-19 from uh, you know the world and especially from our nation when it is his opportune time and so we must persist in prayer we must continue to plead our cases before him through the enabling of the Holy Spirit we must continue we must not cease to pray no wonder he says pray without ceasing I would like us to remember this that intercession is made for the saints. Intercession of the Holy Spirit is made for the saints. What does this uh, remind us? It reminds us of the need to make Jesus Christ uh, the Lord and Savior of our lives. Because then when we are outside Christ, how then does the Holy Spirit intercede for us? And by the way, Jesus Christ is our first intercessor. He is an advocate for us. A high priest seated at the right hand of God the Father, pleading our case before him. So it's my prayer tonight, it's my prayer this evening, that the Lord will make this truth a reality in our hearts. And that we will remember that he has provided help for us. That we are not to be worried about issues that wear us down. But we are to trust in the Lord. I thank God for the reading that was brought to us before we, we went into a moment of praise and worship. That those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. Trust in God. 
trust in God, my friend. Let the Lord have his way in your life. He will organize your prayers in the power of the Holy Spirit and he will come to your aid because he promises to do so. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help me to know that the Holy Spirit is one who is present to help us, to advocate for us. He knows the mind of God. He knows the will of God. He intercedes for us with power when we are weak. He intercedes for us with wisdom that we have no understanding of. Wisdom that only belongs to him. He intercedes for us according to the will of God because he is the third person in the Trinity. Are you troubled? May the Lord, may the Lord in the person of the Holy Spirit be your help today. Tonight, do not go to sleep. Do not allow your troubled heart to overwhelm you. Just profess and proclaim this truth that I have an intercessor in the Holy Spirit to plead my case before God. I pray for peace tonight. I pray for comfort and hope tonight that I will, uh, will sleep peacefully knowing that God cares for me. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. God richly bless you, and I welcome us to continue next week. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Reverend Jacqueline, for allowing on to use you. And uh, it's my prayer that we will be able to entrust ourselves to the Holy Spirit so that he may be able to continue with the intercessory role that uh, through our prayers there will be the language of God. He will be able to lift us even when we are troubled. He also give wisdom even as we continue praying and seeking the face of God. We are blessed and we really thank God for that. This particular time we want to offer our worship through our giving and therefore I ask us to prepare even those who are at home you can channel your giving through the platforms the online platforms that we display on our screen and the Lord is going to bless you so so much for those who are here we are going to have a short song even as we do the offertory Amen Amen as we continue meditating and as we give our offering, I want us just to sing a hymn, hymn 64. And I will invite Aida to help me singing that hymn 64. What a friend we have in Jesus, just as the one and two only. We sing. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins are grave to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear All because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer Have we trials and temptations a trouble anywhere. Is the trouble anywhere? We shall never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Oh, 
sacrifice his life for us all our things Jehovah our father belongs to you our lives belongs to you our properties belongs to you all that we earn Jehovah our father we come from you Jehovah our God now we want to present these things Jehovah our father that your people have given to us your work that Lord they shall be acceptable to you may you bless the works of our hands Remember those who are giving even uh, online uh, through pay bill, that Lord, as you bless others, Jehovah our Father, you shall not uh, forget, forget them, Jehovah our God. We thank you, we praise you, and we honor you for everything that you have provided to us. And even for your faithfulness, Jehovah our Father, to your word that keeps us going at uh, this period of time. I present each and every member of this church before you. I present Jehovah our viewers before you. I present our listeners before you, that Lord, you shall remember each and every one of them, Jehovah our God, in, uh, at their points of need, that Father, whoever trusts upon you shall never regret. As we wind up our service, O oh Lord our God, we want to present ourselves before you, praying for all the needs of our families, all the needs of our nation, and all the desires of our hearts that, Lord, they shall be answered according to your riches in glory. And by your grace, Jehovah our Father, may you live to be glorified in our lives. For this is our humble prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and Savior. Amen. And now the people of God, may the peace of God which surpasses all understanding keep your hearts and minds in knowledge of the word of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, and the blessing of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. May you continue to seek God without ceasing. Let us meet once again, same time, same place, next Wednesday. God bless you.